How to create a new identification in Arctos. This tutorial will show you how to add a new identification to Arctos for some specimens. So the first thing that you, you do is you select um, the specimens that you want to change the identification for. So I selected the MVZ bird collection here, Museum of Vertebrate Zoology bird specimens, and a range of numbers, and I searched on that, and I got nine cataloged items. These are now identified as Regulus calendula gornelli, and I want to change the identification to Regulus calendula calendula. So once I get my results set, I go here to manage and notice that I am logged in. So you have to have certain permissions in order to be able to do this. Um, I go to manage and I go to manage identification. And uh, manage identification, there we go. And you can see the current identification down here in the bottom. So up here, I'm going to add a new identification to all of these specimens. So I'm going to search for the uh, taxon name, so Regulus Calendula. Hit the tab key, that gets you to all of the Regulus Calendula. I'm going to select Calendula Calendula. I'm going to put my name as identified by, so I put my last name. Hit the tab key, select the agent name. You can't pick it. I mean, you have to pick it, you can't type it. I'm going to put in today's date. The nature of ID in this case is based on the distribution of the specimens um, because I'm identifying them to subspecies, but you can also choose different methods of identification, including things like feature, features, um, or molecular. Um, the confidence, I'm going to call high. You, this, you can leave this null, but I'm going to say that I'm fairly confident about this. And then I'm going to click add identification to all listed specimens. And now when you click on the individual specimen, you'll see that it has the new identification here and the old identification down below. Um, it won't necessarily show up in your specimen results set um, for a while. It may, there may be a little bit of a lag, but it shows in the specimen detail page. So that's how you add a new identification to specimens in Arctos. This tutorial was presented by Carla Cicero at the Museum of Vertebrate Zoology, University of California, Berkeley.